Thanks for clicking on this video. We got some uh, unexpected sunfish bed fishing coming up. Um, I was taking my buddy Caleb fishing and we didn't know what we was gonna get into. Quickly realized there was a bunch of sunfish. Also filmed everything on my new DJI um, Osmo Action 3. And uh, I'm trying it out because I've had some GoPros fail, but also I gotta keep upgrading my equipment because I make videos and I use these cameras all the time for hours, you know. So um, this is all filmed on this one. So I'm kind of curious how the color and the audio is. Got a little underwater footage also, but um, I had to make a change to catch these fish. And these are some really colorful, big old slab sunfish. All right, get my water shoes on. Let me ready to go. Oh, those are on a bed down there. You can catch those. See that, see that little circle down there? Oh, there's a bunch of them, looks like. They don't seem too interested in them. You gotta get it right in their bed where they're really aggravated. Yeah, there's a red breast on beds. There's several of them around. Oh, there's some over there too? Yeah, cast over that way. We may have to downside. I might go get a different rod and reel. I'll go a little smaller. Try to get these. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. He picked it up off his bed. <laughs> Look at that. There's a big old red breast. I dropped it on his bed and watched him eat it. Watch them eat it. There's one off. I bet there's a bunch of them out there. Yeah, a lot of times it's littler lure gets in the bite. I tore this thing up already. Let's see if you start my bite. We have to just move around. Once they've trying to it once or twice they probably won't oh well that one didn't hesitate I didn't see that guy hit they're really red yeah that one doesn't look like he was on a bed though he didn't have the marks but still good size one. oh all right It's the second one I saw. Pick it up off his bed. Things are thick old fish. It is perfect. Oh, right. oh, goodness, I'm biting so slow. I barely saw that one follow, and I just let it like almost follow the bottom. And he picked it up right before it hit the bottom. That's a really cool looking red breast. All right. There's one on a bed right here. I can't get to bite the. I think I know. Well, yeah, there'll probably be a bunch of you over there. I think I know a place where there's a lot more, but I think there'll be a bunch of you over there. Where? Just another place. On the river. Gotcha. I bounced it off of him. He wouldn't move. This one here. This is a nice one. I watched him on his bed for a while. Wow, that's a really good one. That's probably the one that I was trying to get, but I was casting in the over there. That's a good one on the bed right there. A little older one. We got the bluegill. I wish we see some big bluegill on beds. It's all been red breast so far. We never know what you're gonna come across though. Huge man. Oh, thanks, man. Indeed. Uh, oh watch all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah.
though. I want one of the purple ones so I can see it. Sometimes you might, I'll go back and look and we can go see it. Take the water clear. <laughs> well, we moved downstream a little further. Water's pretty low down here. And I think I'm still going to try for some panfish. Really nice area. Um, big, calm, deep spot, but we can get out here and wait around a little bit. So let's get back to fishing. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. I walked down the bank just a little bit. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at the colors on that one. Ah, oh, it's a nice better. It's a nice place with a lot less noise over here. Oh, well, it's gonna get a nice release and he popped out of my hands. Eat it. Oh, God. <laughs> that was cool to watch that one. These guys are really good fighters. Especially when they're this size, like this and that couple of bigger ones that I've caught. And it's just awesome. I got one. There's a bunch of little fish over here. I saw a couple little bass. Oh, bluegill. It's like right now the water's low. You can see how there's so much um, just little, little trees and structure, like all kinds of all the way down for these trees for these um, fish to live in. And then when the water's low, oh, there's a little sunfish right, right there. When the water's low, they gotta push down a little bit. Let's see if I can get that guy right there. There he's coming. I got my line dangling. Oh, he bit it. I missed him. I got a 164th ounce little Bobby Garland itty bit jig head and the lure I'm using, which is just perfect for whenever these little fish, we were trying a little bit bigger lures, they wouldn't bite. These are 1.25 inch itty bit slab hunters. And it's there, um, they just sink so slow, right in front of the fish, got a little bit of a tail kick, and it's hard for them to turn down. There's more bluegill over here. Kind of want those bigger red breasts. Looks like I find some big bluegill. Oh, there's one. And what is that? It's a bluegill. This little thing, when it just drops like that, it just, something's going to eat it. It's just so hard for them to resist it. But you got to fish it slow most time. A little bluegill. Fish. Ah, a yellow perch. This is a little creek that runs into, uh, into the river here. Tiny yellow perch. So this is gonna be one more spot, little side of the road. Caleb ain't got a fish yet. We gotta get him a fish. Easy, easy. Cast in from there. You just barely cast over the edge. Oh, I see him. Like four miles. Yeah, all right, I'll we'll get a cast. The wind's kind of blowing a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. Where are they at? Come on. Water's a little murky. Stand over on the side. Got one. A little bluegill. Tiny little guy.
That's a little bass. See a little bass right there? Oh, you got one. Caleb got a fish, all right. I see another bass. There we go. Hold him up there. There we go, what is that? Oh, a nice bluegill. There's no telling what's down these little holes like this. These are the most fun. It's a pretty bluegill. We know there's a couple more bass that we're seeing. Haven't got the bite yet. Oh, what in the world? Hang on. Hang on, someone under the bridge. I just looked over there. There's a paddle lane right there. Why is there a paddle lane right there on the side of this area? Oh, it's a whole paddle. It's a, or a kayak paddle. Add to my list of them. I got like seven right now. Add another cheap one for this one. These are the cheap ones, the ones you give to your friends. Let them use it and then you use the good ones. I've caught some big sunfish in this creek before. Uh, I, I've caught a bass over a pound. It used to be uh, dammed up. Oh, there's a fish. Differently. And the beaver's kind of, oh, a long ear. There's a good way to end this video off. Got a long ear. Not one of our most predominant sunfish in um, this, this part of the area. Okay, we'll check out the colors. See how well it looks, because it looks very vibrant. And we'll see, we're checking out this new camera I'm wearing. Also, it's got a little bit of wind going on right now. Um, seeing how the audio is. Can you hear the birds? Of course the birds stopped right when I said that. They were making noise until I said that. So if you didn't hear them when I stopped, there was no birds. Wait. Okay, there were birds then. So long ear sunfish. Fun day of sunfish fishing. And I wasn't really playing on it, but I always have some kind of light action rod. This rod says a light. It's almost a medium light. It's a little bit stiff. It's definitely not ultralight, so it's st way stiffer than ultralight. And this it's the uh, sh uh, Quantum um, 6.3 Bill Dance. I got eight pound Bray, little Johnny Morris reel. And I got a six pound, I think a six pound leader line. So that small little lure made the bigger biggest difference. I could cast it out there with this light line. Let it fall slow and uh, was able to catch a bunch of fish. Well, thanks for watching. Um, it was, definitely was pretty fun catching all those sunfish. And I'm really liking so far this new camera. Uh, I'm gonna have to test it out. I actually went and bought a new, the, this Osmo uh, 3, and then I also bought a new GoPro Hero 11. And just cause my other cameras were, were messing up on me and I gotta have new stuff to keep going, so. Uh, kind of just a little test run on it. I wanted to see how it works, how the color looks. I'm trying to find something more vibrant because everything right now is really green. Seems like my GoPros were kind of dull. But anyways, thanks for watching.